Welcome to using a screwdriver and a hammer safely. Um, let's start with our tools. This is a ball and pen hammer, and these are screwdrivers. There's two types of screwdrivers. Um, this one right here is called a Phillips. You can see the difference in the, the heads, and this one right here is a standard, which is flat. Depending on your screw, you'll pick the appropriate screwdriver. Let's start with that. So when you're using a screwdriver, you always want to put the object you're screwing into down on the surface. If it's a pretty large object, you might even want to secure it with the clip. This is pretty small, so I don't think we need to secure it. This is something that we, um, this is a servo holder. You can push that in there. And then you would add a screw in right here. If you could see the top of this, this is going to tell, this tells me I need a Phillips head screwdriver because it's a little plus. So I'm just going to put the screw into the hole, try to put it straight up and down, and then take your screwdriver, put it in, and turn to the right. Turning to the right will make it tight. And you definitely want to give some pressure while you're screwing that in, so you want to push down and screw at the same time. And also, if you wanted to take the screw out, you would go to the left. A lot of people use the um, slogan, righty tidy, lefty loosey, kind of helps him remember. But again, I have to push down and twist to the left for it to come out. And I want it to come out, but pushing down actually makes it too, makes it come out. So once it gets to where you can move it with your hand, then you can just unscrew it the rest of the way. There you go. We'll leave that in there. Just remember, don't screw anything in your hand because I've, you know, I've seen kids do like, you know, like this. If you miss that screwdriver, you're going to stab yourself in the hand. So don't do that. The big thing is just to keep your surface down, maybe even clip it down if you need to, and then do your screwing. Keep your hands away from it because if you slip, it could go off and stab you. So make sure your hands are clear. And don't keep turning. If it's not turning and something's wrong. You don't want to just keep going because it would strip the screw, so that's something you want to try to avoid. Now hammering, um, some, sometimes you're going to have to hammer. So for instance, if you're making a car and you're using one of these um, axles, you might have to hammer that in because it just won't push in by itself. It's real tight. So whenever you hammer, make sure that your, your object you're hammering into is down on a surface. And then the object that you're hammering, you wanna hold it with some pliers. We never wanna hold our fingers because we could possibly hammer our fingers. So always use the pliers, put the object, or put the axle or whatever you're hammering where it needs to go. There it is. And then just tap, 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 tap. There you go. Need a little bit more, and put the hammer down. There it is. So just remember the big thing with the hammer is to not hold like this. Don't do this, that will lead to injury. Always use pliers before you tap, before you hammer. And always use some kind of extra board, like use this board to hammer on so we don't injure or hurt our, our class furniture. So I'm hammering on top of this butcher board. All right, just an overview. The do's, um, well, we always want to treat our, our tools with respect. We want to hold our, uh, use pliers to, to hold the object you are hammering. Put objects that you're working on a flat surface. And our don'ts, don't hold the nail with, uh, don't hold the nail with your fingers. And definitely don't screw while holding it in your hand. And go, and definitely, we already talked about this, but don't snatch objects or tools or run with any tools in your hand.